my name is Trevor Legend, but today you can call me Frank. In today's video, what we're gonna be showing off, which is actually like two in the morning right now, and I'm trying to keep it down just because the wall that's not right here, but the one that's behind the camera, I think is someone else's room because I'm in an apartment complex, I don't know. But that's not gonna stop us for today. So today's video is gonna be showing off the swords that I actually collect. Um, I've actually been collecting swords for, I wanna say, around five years or so. Um, and it, it's just been something that I've been wanting to do um, ever since, um, you know, like five years ago. <laughs> um, I pretty much have been wanting to start like a collection of something. And back then, when I was a kid, um, I used to collect tech deck dudes, and I don't know if you guys know what that is, but they're little figures. So yeah, pretty much I'm going to be showing you uh, some of the swords that I've collected over the years. Um, I'll, I'll make continuous videos as, uh, you know, I collect more and stuff, but for right now, I'm gonna show you like uh, just at least a couple, maybe like four or five or so. I think I have in total like eight or so. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's between swords, um, bowie knives, um, axes, it's just everything. Pretty much everything that is fantasy related, pretty much swords that you would not see in like regular, you know, battles or something. Not saying that I'm ever in a battle, but, um, you know, these are just swords that I pretty much have found on Amazon and, uh, you know, I've just bought over the years and I think they're just really cool to have and just to collect. Um, obviously, I don't use them for harming people. Um, I don't have any intention on doing that. They're just strictly collector's items that I just happen to have. And, you know, they could do some damage, but that is not what we're doing. We're just showing them off and that is it. So, um, let me get the first one for you. So, one second. Okay, um, so. <laughs> so the first one is the axe. Um, this one I had got, um, I want to say about two years ago or so. Um, the pretty much the, the way that is made is actually really nice. I don't know, you can probably see, probably see the detail. Yeah, the texture on the handle there as well as here too. I don't know. I think this is wire. I want to say yeah well it's just really nice overall um the edges let's see if you can hear it yeah so it's it's really sharp personally this is in my top three I would say this is like probably my second place best I want to say um it's just really nice it's really really like durable um, you know, obviously if you put force into it, it's, it's gonna do some damage. By the way, um, if I look kind of bad and stuff, it's, you know, it's just because I, I've been working a lot and stuff and trying to get these YouTube videos done. So I know I got like bags under my eyes and I look like I never get sleep, which this eye looks really bad, but it's whatever, you know? But yeah, pretty much I, you know, I had gotten this around I want to say like two years ago it was the first day that I got it. I pretty much just got it to just to have it, <laughs> pretty much. But yeah, it's about this big. It's I just don't want to drop and freaking cut myself. I guess you can use it for like one handing, like if you hold it like this. I wouldn't suggest holding it from here because right here you don't. It's kind of like hard to do. But if you hold it from the middle, like. It's really easy to move and stuff. So on to the next one. I'll be back. All right, this is the next one. This is one of the largest swords that I have. Yeah, so the story behind this was uh, for, I think it was my birthday. Um, my friend Tyler, um, AKA Royal Death, um, my best friend, um, he decided to get me a sword. <laughs> And, um, you know, because he knows that I collect fantasy swords and stuff, so he decided to get me this bad boy. Now, I can't probably, oh, I can have it in frame, but it is really, really long. And, um, ideally this would be like something you would maybe put on your back, I would assume, or probably on your hip or something, but yeah, this thing definitely needs 
it's two two hands on it because it is heavy like not heavy heavy but i mean it's enough where you would need definitely two hands to to hold it so uh, but yeah, Tyler definitely came in clutch with this one. He, um, you know, gifted this to me and it was really, really awesome to, uh, you know, just to have just something like that. I don't know, like it's just, I don't know how to explain it. It was, it was just really nice of him. And seriously, like, you know, it, it was, it was a great gift. And I know it's kind of in, you know, an unusual gift, um, but uh, it was, it was definitely cool. But yeah. Thank you, Tyler. All right, and uh, let's go to the next one. I'll probably make that one the last one. Okay, so now the next one was actually my most recent one. Um, this one, believe it or not, <laughs> again, believe it or not, it was an unusual gift, but because um, my mom, uh, <laughs> she she knew that um, you know I collected swords and stuff, and she thought that it would be cool for Christmas um, to get me one, of course. This is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna take it out of the sheath, but that's the that's the end of it. Okay, this, just so you know, is not a real gun. It is a fake gun. <laughs> it is a replica. It is completely plastic. Uh, you can probably see some of the engraving. I mean, it's it's fake engraving, but still really really cool. So now, but when you take it out, it is a full-on sword and just so you know that was there because yes this is actually really sharp um, the edges and stuff it's got like the shark teeth on it yeah it is it is amazing so when you hold it you're supposed to hold it like a gun even the, you know the trigger obviously you know doesn't do anything but uh yeah it, it is it is awesome. So when I hold it, I can't hold it from the tip, but that is how big it is. It's just big enough where you can hold it with one hand comfortably. You know, if you gotta do some jab in action, whatever. But again, I don't use it for that reason. And so, um, yeah, honestly, this was, I would say one of the coolest gifts um, that I got from my mom. This thing also, uh, let's see, it kind of it spins a little bit, not much. You can't take it out. It doesn't hold bullets, obviously. This thing does not go back. The trigger is the only thing that works, but again, doesn't do anything. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the post notifications on so you can get a notification every single time that I post. And you can see just all sorts of videos that I'm going to be making soon. I have a schedule down and I'm going to be posting every Friday at 3 p.m. Central Time. So, yeah, honestly, thank you guys again. And uh, I love you guys. Have a legendary day. Yeah!